a lot of the problems on earth are connected to this little organ that we have, the tongue. It's small in size, but very, very great in damage. The damage is such that it is sharper than a razor. You know that? If you were to utter a word, you could actually exit the fold of Islam. If you were to utter a word, you could actually terminate your marriage. So make sure that you are responsible. This is why verse number 70 of the same surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to save ourselves in a very beautiful way. What does he say? Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu Allah wa qulu qawlan sadeeda. O you who believe, be conscious of Allah, be conscious of your maker and only utter that which is upright, utter that which is straight. Sadeed means straight, no lies, no falsehood, no abuse, no vulgar words, nothing that is hurtful, etc. You make sure you say words that are straight. They are truthful, they are beautiful, they depict the fact that you're a Muslim. You are responsible for what you utter. These utterances, they can take you into Jannah or into Jahannam. There is a hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, control your tongue. So he says, oh messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are we answerable for what we say if we haven't done it? So he says, oh Mu'adh, thakilatka ummuka ya Mu'adh. You know, what a big statement you've uttered, O Mu'adh. What do you think, O Mu'adh? It's an Arabic saying. When they say, Thakilatka ummuk, it, it is depicting the seriousness of the statement. O Mu'adh, what is it? What do you think? And on the day, will the people be dragged on the fire for any other reason besides the, the way they use their tongues? Which means those people who will enter Jahannam, a lot of them would be because of their tongues, because of how they abused. We talk about people, we backbite, we slander, we deceive, we lie. <laughs> what else do we do? We say the worst words to our children, our parents, our spouses, our family members, our brothers, our sisters across the globe, Muslim, non-Muslim, the type of words we say, we are responsible. My brothers and sisters, this is a verse. Have you realized something? When there's a, when there is an officiation of a nikah, a lot of the times the imam reads what is known as khutbatul haja. It is a khutbah. And in that khutbah, small recitation of some verses, this is one of the verses. O you who believe, be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and utter that which is upright. I would like to think that in all circumstances, especially in marriage, your marriage can be made or broken depending on how you use your tongue, subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the good use of our tongues. Now, what is some of the benefits or what are some of the benefits of the good use of the tongue? Allah says, as a result of good words and the remembrance of Allah and so many other beautiful usages of the tongue, He says, yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum Two gifts that He will give you. He will make pure for you your deeds. So you did your deeds, now Allah will accept them from you because you have used your tongue correctly. You did not give your deeds away to someone else because you abused, because you wronged someone and like we spoke about it a few days ago, your deeds end up going to someone else. But because you said good things, yuslih lakum a'malakum, he makes your deeds good for you. وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And he forgives your sins because you've become conscious of your statements. If you are conscious of your statements, Allah says, I forgive your sins. Subhanallah, how beautiful is this? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us through and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who are grateful for the beautiful gift of the tongue. May we be from among those who say the best words. May we be from among those who are conscious, who remember Allah and who make people happy when we open our mouths. Sometimes people are just waiting for others to open their mouths in order to be distressed completely. They know that only venom is spat from the mouths of some, but not us. As believers, that's not what should be the case. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.